Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to another tutorial. I call for it. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at the if statement in Python. So this is our first looking at the if statement in Python. So this is our first um, tutorial using the editor. We are not using the console in this place. So what is an if statement? An if statement is a conditional statement. An example is um, when I say if I have um twenty thousand dollars buy a laptop you understand what i'm saying so that is an if statement there's also an if else statement we are going to be looking at it in this tutorial also so an example of if statement is um if i have twenty thousand dollars buy a macbook pro else buy a windows so this means that if i have exactly twenty thousand dollars i should buy a macbook but if my money is less than twenty thousand dollars i should buy a windows instead Hope you understand so let's get this into practice so the first thing we need to do is create a variable uh and then you're not gonna rush into that so the first thing i need to do is just um a simple statement e5 is greater than four all right so i needed to print greater Alright, so when I save this and I run this on my terminal, yeah, you can see we have greater. So this is basically how we do it. Well, let, let's take a look at the else if statement. All right, elif. We use an elif. It's not else if. So Python uses elif. So let's we'll see elif five less than ten point. Right, you see now so when i run this you should be seeing that we have still you see our greater why right? because the first conditioner is meant to is meant as true so we need to change this effect right here so i'm gonna change this to to six all right so you see this and when i add back there now you can see we have lesser so the second one because this first one isn't true then the second one went that's what i'm saying then we can also have another elif statement this can be elif 5 equals equals to 5 so we use double equals to to check if things are meant together for example if 5 is 5 we use the double equals to so we can do point i am um, all right 5 to so save this we need to change this also so let me put greater than all right see when i back to terminal it now you can see you have an five because five is equals to five so this is an example of how to do it so now let's work with variable so i'm just gonna uh, delete this part save all right so the first thing to do is create a name no create a figure equals to twenty thousand sorry twenty thousand all right so we need to do if figure um greater than thirty thousand all right i need it to print greater um print less a leaf figure less than 10,000 I need to print great right sorry then a leaf figure equals equals 200 print no right so when i save this and run this now we should expect not in white because none of these ethereal statements met the condition we want all right so if we see anything like you have any program like this whereby all the conditions didn't meet each other so the best thing we need to do is just put an else else statement then print 
pan on saving all right so when i go back to terminal and run this now you can see i have keep on saving because none of the condition i wrote up there were meant as true but if i should change this all right if i should change this to less than as you can see we have less yeah the first one was meant as true so we have less so this is how we work with the if else statement in python so i needed to try some basic things and comment them below all right yeah comment them below and then next to we are going to be looking at the while loop in python yeah why this is true i needed to do this so don't forget to miss it don't miss it out yeah don't miss it out all right see you next time in the next tutorial bye